Hello, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. On In this video, I am gonna track my weight through measurement like I've been doing for the past six weeks. We're gonna see if I've had any improvement from two weeks ago. So stay tuned to see my improvements. <laughs> guys so six weeks ago when I started this weight loss journey I was measuring in at 38 inches around my waist 54 inches around my hips 44 inches around my breast and 15 inches around my arms so after I measured myself for you guys that Sunday I started a detox tea a Keisha Kaur detox tea and and then I started I stopped eating as much sugar I was eating before I started watching my portion control, but I still did have some cheat days during that two weeks detox. And after that two weeks detox, um, I started measuring in at 35 and a half inches around my waist, 54 inches around my hips, 31 inches around my arms, 41 inches around my breast, and 14 inches around my arms. And then to, two weeks after that, um, I continued to eat, oh, I started my Daniel's fast so I started eating um, just plant-based. I stopped eating sugar. I got rid of all things, like all bad carb um, all um, bad carbohydrates like white rice. And I started only eating whole wheat. I started eating vegetables, you know, just the diet of Daniel's Fast. We've, you can see my previous videos about Daniel's Fast to see exactly what I've been eating for the past two weeks. But with that, um, I measured in at 34 inches around my waist. I measured in at 53 inches around my hips. I measured in at 31 inches around my thighs, 40 inches around my breasts, and 13.5 inches around my arms. So today, I'm going to measure myself again, but it's important to let you guys know that in the last two weeks, I have been working out a little bit more. I've been going to the gym a few times a week. And when I go to the gym, I do um, strength training for 30 minutes. I do cardio for 45 and I'm starting all the way back over with the stair steppers. I used to be able to do like 25 minutes on the stair steppers, but right now guys, I'm all the way back to five. I'm doing five minutes on the stair steppers. And, and in addition, I do that three times a week. And in addition to that, I um, try to make sure for at least five days a week that I'm getting in at least 10,000 steps a day. And I have not been great at it. Like last week, I only went to the gym twice. And I only had like 10,000 steps three times a, in a week. But either even that is progress from what I was doing a month ago. And if you are curious to see a little bit more information about what I'm talking about, refer to my previous videos. I have three other videos that I have been talking about measuring myself and my weight loss in. So go ahead and check that out if you want to know more. I will see you in the next installment of me measuring my body. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so welcome back. I'm trying to give you a whole body view so you can see what I'm looking like now after two weeks ago when I measured myself for you all. Maybe I should step back a little bit more so you can see the entire physique. Come closer so you can see it better. It's the profile view, the back view. All right, so let me measure myself to see if there's been any type of improvement in my weight or in my measurements. Shall we get started? All right, let's get started, guys. So let's measure this, this waist and see where I am today. Make sure that this is going the right way because I bought a new measurement tape because the other one, the silver off of it broke. And this one is like a two-sided one and then it gets twisted. So I want to make sure I got it right so I can get my measurements super correct. All right, let's see here. I can't see over my boobs. <laughs> I'm going to bite it, guys, so I can see what I'm doing. So it looks like today I am measuring in at 32 and a half inches around my waist. Let's see for the hips, where I'm measuring it at today. Oh, yes. Yes, baby. So as of 
today I am measuring in at 52 and a half inches around my waist. And I'm so excited about that because I don't know if you remember for the first two weeks, it did not move, it did not budge. So to have lost, I started off at 54 inches around my um, my waist. So to have lost um, what, two and a half inches around my waist, is that two and a half inches? Yeah, to have lost two and a half inches around my waist in six weeks is a big deal because my waist is really my problem area. It's like where the weight like loses weight the I mean where I lose where I lose weight the slowest. So I'm very excited about that. So now I'm gonna measure my thighs and see if there's been any improvement. Hopefully this measuring tape is right because I feel like it's not right. I'm getting irritated. Alright guys, so let's see. So as of today, I'm measuring in at 30 inches around my thighs. 30 inches around my thighs, 30 inches. All right. <laughs> um, that's an inch less than last week. So I've lost one inch around my thighs. Um, so now let's see how much I'm measuring around my bosoms. Let's see if these girls have shrunk and I, have, I can get back to my old bra size. Cause I'm tired. I don't got time to be buying no bigger bras. So this shit needs to shrink. So right now I am measuring in at 38 inches around my boobs. That is good. I started off at 44 inches around my breast. So guys, I've lost one second. I've lost this much around my breast in six weeks. That is a lot. I'm so happy about it too. So let's see around my arms what I'm measuring in at today. Do me good, arms. Do me good. Do me good. Don't make me look bad in front of these people. Ooh, yes, baby. So I measured in at 13 inches around my arms. So I, um, six weeks ago when I started measuring myself, I was 14 inches around my arms. Or was it 15 inches? Let me see what this says. I was 15 inches around my arms. So now I'm measuring in at 13. So in the past six weeks, I've lost two inches around my arms. Did I, am I forgetting something? I think I measured everything. I don't think I forgot anything, but guys, this is like so amazing because in six weeks I have come to this place where I'm losing weight and like I told you guys, I'm ready to get my goal, my dream body for the rest of my life. And me having my dream body is not about, oh, I don't wanna be big or I wanna be small. It's about health reasons. I don't have any health issues right now, but I don't want to have health issues in the future because I refuse to manage my weight because I work in the ICU and we get a lot of heavier patients that, and then their health um, outcomes are even um, worse than a person that is not as heavy because they have accumulated so much weight around their major organs over the years. And me trying to lose weight, it's about just being overall overall healthier. I wanna be able to wear a two-piece bathing suit and not feel insecure. I wanna be able to, you know, have my man rub my back and not like, be like, don't touch it because I'm insecure about the fat on my back. So me losing weight has nothing to do with, oh, I wanna look better for anyone. Oh, I wanna be more attractive because I'm sorry to be cocky, but I already know I'm fine. <laughs> okay. I already know that I'm attractive. I already know that people are attracted to me, but me losing weight has nothing to do with any type of external factors. It's not about me wanting to attract anyone because if I wanted to attract someone, I could. It's about me being healthier, me putting my best foot forward in life, me just being the best version of myself every single day. That's the only thing that I'm striving for. Um, so before I leave you guys, I want to give some tips about water because you know I cannot leave you without talking about water. What? No, I can't do that. All right, so I wrote down some tips for you all because I can't memorize all that stuff about why it's important to drink water. So some fun facts about water. It makes up approximately 70% of the human's um, body weight. But that doesn't mean you should stop drinking it. It just means that your entire body needs water. So when you're putting water in your body, you're keeping it hydrated. You're letting it do all the things that it needs to do. And then another fun fact is that approximately 80% of your brain tissue is made up of water. 80%. And then another fun fact is that water boosts skin health and beauty. 
I mean, yeah, water is good. Water will have your skin looking so good. I remember telling my friend on the phone the other day, I was like, ever since I've been eating plant-based and I've been like making sure I've been drinking my water, when I wash my face at night, it looks like I still have makeup on. And then another thing is water flushes out the body's waste. So when you drink enough water, if you're a person that suffers from constipation, you're going to realize or you're going to notice that your constipation is going to get better because you are drinking water and you are pushing everything down. So guys, I'm going to leave you, but I have one more thing to say. Today is the last day of my fast and it's bittersweet because a part of me is happy to be going back to eating healthy. I mean, to, I mean, to eating like what I used to eat, like my African food that I've been like, like, like craving for the last month, sending my friends pictures of like the first things that I'm going to make when I get off this fast. But then the other part of me is like kind of afraid that I'm going to like go backwards and I'm not going to keep this momentum going and I'm going to somehow fall off. But I'm just going to like, you know, I'm just going to try to be as serious as I've been for the last month and I'm going to try to eat my food yet still um, watch my portion control and still watch my sugar intake and I think for the next um, two weeks weigh in I'm going to have um, a whole section that's dedicated to the foods that I've eaten in the last two weeks so you guys can see if I lose inches or if I maintain my inches or if I gain inches oh I hope that all happens but if I gain inches you guys will see what I've been eating and what's contributed to that and if I can I might track some workouts so you guys can see what I'm doing how many even if I don't track my workout like me like getting it in I have a Fitbit and I have a thing that tracks my um my exercise and my steps and I'll put that on so you guys can see what I've been doing throughout the weeks but have a good day. I will see you on Wednesday to dive more into the mental health aspect of weight gain. All right, have a great Sunday.